Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. We've done our little snowman part one, which is the actual body of our snowman. Now there's two little parts that we need to do as well, which is his scarf and his little bowler hat, his little top hat. So they're going to be part two and part three. I'm doing it in parts because otherwise it gets a little bit time consuming. So we'll do his scarf, which is nice and quick and easy. What we're going to do is start, with, I'm just going to use red bands. I'm going to take a single band and I'm going to wrap it around my hook once and twice. Now I'm going to use 45 bands to chain. So I have got my 45 bands counted out here. I'd suggest you do that. And I'm just going to do a regular chain like this, just like we would do normally, of 45 bands. Okay, and when you have done 45 bands, we will catch back up. It only takes a few minutes, but you might get a bit bored seeing me sitting here. So I will speed this up and catch you back when we've done our chain of 45. So I've completed my chain of 45. All right, there we go. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going, I'm going to skip the one that's on my hook and I'm going to skip the one that is next to it. So in the third one, I've got one, two and three. I'm going to go into and I'm going to make sure that it's not twisted at all. It's got to be straight. I'm going to go into this one, all right, and I'm going to do a single crochet like that. And I'm going to pull that loop through these two. And then I'm going to work my way all the way down this chain doing a single crochet in each stitch. No increases, no decreases, just a single crochet in each stitch. But before we get to the very, very last one, then we're going to do a little bit of something a tiny bit different. So steam ahead, that's fine, but just wait when you get to the end. Now, um, for those of you who don't follow me on Facebook, I did let everybody know on Facebook today, I will be going away on a vacation. My family, when, when my husband and I got married, we didn't we didn't take a honeymoon. We, we didn't have enough money or time to take one. We always promised ourselves that when we had a kiddo, we would do a family moon. And uh, we wanted to make sure that Izzy was an age, that she would remember everything that we do very, very vividly for the rest of her life. And uh, we are taking our family moon. We leave on Sunday and we're going to Disney World for a week. So I will not be doing a tutorial next week because I will be busy having fun with my husband and little one in Disney World and hopefully um, taking lots of video and photos. We're going to, one of the things Izzy wants to do is give out the um, Disney princess dolls that we've made to the relative princesses. So uh, I'm going to take video of her doing that. So hopefully I'll have a little something to share with you when we get back. But um, for those eagerly waiting for a tutorial, you'll have to excuse me for next week because I'm going to be loomless. I'm not going to even take a rubber band with me except to put Izzy's hair up. So it should be fun. And uh, hopefully the warmer weather will help us with our coughs and colds. Nearly at the bottom here. And last few stitches on the end. Oh, 
and we'll get all the way down to that very bottom one that very first stitch here it is and it's got the end cap on it I'm going to go through that stitch and I'm going to do one single crochet and I'm going to do two single crochet and I'm going to snip that end cap off I don't need it and it's just going to get in the way so I'm going to get my scissors now be very careful you're only snipping the end cap that little first band that we used we don't need that because those single crochets we have are keeping it all together I'm going to do a third single crochet like that and then I'm going to work all the way down I'm going back to this second stitch here I'm going to work all the way back down the other way with single crochets and then when I get to the very end I'm going to tie off and that's how we're doing our scarf as I said you can make it any colour you like you can make it green um, alternate the different colours doesn't really matter I said this would be a nice quick little tutorial oops come back here simple chain with a single crochet up either side Okay, so I'm at my last stitch now. I'm going to go through it and I'm going to do two single crochets in here just so that it sort of marries up with what we have on the other side. I'm going to do two here and then I'm going to move over to this one here and do a tie off band like so. Pull it nice and tight and then I'm going to hide that tie off band through the little V's that we have here. All right. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to pull it through like this so that it's hidden inside these little V's. You really don't want to see it too much. Oh, somebody's texting me. How loved I feel. There we go. Oops, that one popped out. Probably a notification to tell me that somebody's left a message on YouTube for me, telling me how awful my voice sounds. I've got another one again. Got told I was as boring as a British documentary. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> All right. So this is my scarf. Very basic, I know. What you're going to do is take it, pop it round his neck, and 
okay and you're just going to tie one little side like that okay and that's don't do it too tight you'll strangle him <laughs> and there we have that's his little scarf now the next tutorial is part three which is going to be his hat